So it's seven o'clock at night. I'm sat at a level crossing. They call it Lee Green Network Rail. There's a phone down there. Now, when they first installed these phones, about, I don't know, five or six years ago, they never used to be phones, they just used to look both ways. But they wanted to make the trains faster, so they electrified the line and put all this electrification in. And they put the phones in because they said it was no longer safe for us to look both ways. And what we had to do is we had to ring up. So the guy that installed the phone says, when you ring up, always check that they know where you're calling from. And they've took their head out of the paper and they know that they, they've you're ringing from the right place. So what you do is you pick up the phone, you say, you say hello, they answer, say the, 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 the signal box, and you say, hi, can you confirm which cross I'm at? Now that means they've physically got to look up out of their paper or the Facebook or whatever they're doing to see where you are because you're risking your life. They're not, they're sat in an office. So they, they pick up, they look up where you are, they go, yeah, you're at Lee Green Crossing. Then I confirm them at Lee Green Crossing and then I ask if it's safe to cross. If it's safe to cross, they let me cross. If it's not safe to cross, they tell me to wait, and I wait. I don't know why, because the farmland was here well before the railway, despite it being the site of the Rainhill Trials, the oldest passenger railway in the world. Anyway, it's, it's nearly seven o'clock now. I want my tea, I want to get finished spraying before it gets any windier or starts to rain. And the guy that picked up the phone won't tell me what crossing I'm calling from and wants me to tell him where I'm calling from first. Now, he's not risking his life crossing.